The strongest demon in history, Shidu Ryusei, versus the fallen hero of today, Kunigami Rinsuke. These two have quite the history of each other, with Shido being the one to eliminate Kunigami in the second selection and humiliate him on top of that. As such, this matchup is inevitable. So let's explore their stats, abilities and best feats to determine who comes on top. Before we do however, if you enjoy this type of videos, please consider subscribing and joining my community discord server for more amazing blue lock theories and reviews. And now without any further ado, on with the video. Super Muscle Head Kunigami Rinsuke the fallen hero of Blue Lock, one of the few characters who were introduced in the first selection and is still relevant, and also one of the few who went a complete personality change to survive. From a very friendly guy who believes that everything should be fair, to an emo who doesn't care about friends, acquaintances or anything, all that is on his mind is to score and dominate. As usual, we are going to start with his stats. With what's probably the best physical stats in Blue Lock, Kunigami is a very strong player, tall and with great body structure, often throwing his clothes left and right when changing due to him not realizing how strong he is. Which makes it only logical that the first stat we are going to look at is his muscle mass, strength and draw power. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and say this. Kunigami has the best physicality in the U20 category. With the exception of Baro and Tokimitsu, no one is even on the consideration list. But after the not so known wildcard training, I believe Kunigami annihilates everyone physically. Next for his endurance, we really don't know much about this as the series is yet to focus on him that much. But in the Manshine City game, he was all over the place, doing all sorts of stuff all game without showing any sign of fatigue. But also, if you survive the training of the wild card that is designed to copy Noel Noah, then you must have an insane endurance. Next for his speed, despite being a tank, Kunigami oddly enough have better speed than Baro, Nagi and Isegi. You would think with his enormous muscle mass he would be much slower, but not really. Which for me begs the question, why don't we see better charges from him like Baro? It feels like his mind is limiting his potential. But finally let's talk about his jumping ability. And due to his muscle structure and height, Kunigami has an amazing aerial ability. Not quite as insane as Aryu's as he is the king without doubt, but Kunigami can beat most players when it comes to aerial battles and is in fact a very dominant player in that regard. I want to end this section with stating that Kunigami is a special player where his insane physical stats and muscle structure are at the core of his playing style and abilities. As such, when exploring them, I will be referring to his stats a lot. First, let's state the obvious. You have an insane muscle mass. What's the first thing you should be really good at? Well, physical confrontations. And it is a no-brainer that Kunigami has one of the best dueling abilities in Blue Lock. And while weak to dribblers such as Bachira and Lorenzo, he can pretty much hold off against most players, in the air and on the ground. His physicality is also great for ball keeping and retention, which helps him a lot in the penalty box, where he can wrestle with the defenders and snatch unexpected goals in situations that one might think impossible. Kunigami also boasts an insane shooting ability, especially with his stronger left leg, having the most powerful shot in the U20 category, enough to take the calm Noah by surprise, and only falls behind when talking the overall shooting ability to Baro and Kaiser, giving even Rin's shot a run for its money. While Rin has precision, Kunigami has power and speed, but also Kunigami trumps everyone when it comes to his ability to shoot with both legs. Yes, Kunigami is ambidextrous. Well, he wasn't always capable of using both legs effectively, but due to his muscle mass and bone structure, the wildcard training was successful for him. And while we don't know much about how he went inside the wildcard, Kunigami's expression says it all. However, let's get back to ambidexterity. As I explained in my Ranking Pros video, having the ability to utilize both legs is broken, as it opens your options wide open and grants you much, much freedom. Add to that the fact that Kunigami has a cannon for a shot and we get a very dangerous striker, a reliable spear that can break through most defense. Well, that's what I would say if it wasn't for Kunigami's weakness. And yes, this will be the first versus video I do where I will be exploring the weakness of a player. While before players like Nagi, Baro and Ren had weaknesses, they weren't really holding them off that bad. However, for Kunigami and Shido, their weaknesses are really harmful to their playing style. For Kunigami, it is his lone wolf mentality, where he doesn't accept passes nor give them. And I'm not going to lie, it is pretty odd. 
Kunigami has a very mediocre dribbling ability that makes use of his ambidexterity, but that's all. And it is certainly not enough to get him past the whole defense. And so how would he be getting chances if he plays with no one? At least with Boros King Complex, he accepts passes and have enough skill to snatch goals on his own. But with Kunigami, again it feels like he is hurting himself rather than helping it. And him being reduced to a hyena striker is just his own doing. Also in the Ubers game, when faced with a great defender in Aryu, he got completely killed off. With his long limbs and aerial maneuverability, snatching goals in the presence of Aryu's insane reach is practically impossible. If Kunigami just gets rid of this stupid mentality, we might see a reliable dangerous player, especially with Hiyori on the team, as he can pull off some impossible passes relying on Kunigami's insane physicality to snatch the goal regardless. Overall, Kunigami is still a powerhouse of a player and is very hard to be dealt with, but can he beat Shido? Shido Ryusei, the Dragon of Blue Lock, one of the most laid back and easy going characters. <laughs> yeah, right. Shido is one of the most aggressive players in Blue Lock, and that's saying something given the fact that the place is filled with jerks that are always hostile towards each other. Shido, however, takes it to the extreme and gets physical. But before we speak of this side to him, we got to explore his stats first. And well for Shiro's it's a weird one. At first he seemed unstoppable with great speed, great power, great jumping ability and overall refined physicality. However, as the series progressed, we learned that he uses all of his stats, abilities and playing style by instinct when Shiro is on attack. And as described by Karasu, they are mediocre when on defense and in the midfield, resulting in one of, if not the strongest pure strikers in blue lock. First, let's talk about his raw power and strength, which is not that impressive honestly. However, much like Nagi, for a skinny dude he packs quite the punch, but we've seen when dealing with above average players in terms of strength like Ryo, he gets overpowered easily. For his endurance we really don't know much about this stat, as his best showing was in the U20 game where he only played half a game and so we really can't measure it. Alright, next is his jumping ability, where Shido boasts one of the best aerial maneuverabilities in Blue Lock. He falls short against Aryo and Aiku, but honestly who wouldn't? However, when it comes to snatching goals and intercepting passes, Shido shines as the flying dragon that he is. And finally, let's talk speed, which honestly is his most impressive stat, as Shido is a speed demon, especially when going on the offense, where in tandem with an ability of his, Shido can react and move faster than Yuki, and even match Chigure at times, which if you've seen this pink panther you would know how big of a feat this is. We also saw how Shido can switch very quickly between offense and defense in an impressive and deadly manner, which is also kind of an endurance feat, but since he only played half a game we have to take it with a grain of salt. But overall his speed is really impressive and works so well with Cheeto's abilities. Speaking of which, it's time for us to explore his weapons. Picking up straight from his speed stat, the first ability I am going to talk about is his instinctive off the ball movements. Many Blue Lock fans understand this, but I'm not sure if you guys get how overpowered this weapon really is. To put it into perspective, we have Isigi and Rin, two fiends who dominate the field with their calculated off the ball movements. They are backed up by freaking Metavision, which if I haven't made it clear throughout my videos, it is the best weapon we know of. And Shido rivals both Isigi and Rin with pure instinct, which is just mind boggling. With this weapon we have seen in the U20 game how it was really hard for anyone to keep up with him. Even Yuki and Chigiri got shaken off by this and with his speed they had no chance of catching up. The only 4 players that understood and reacted to him were Sai, Nico, Ryo and finally Isigi. All players with great spatial awareness and later awakened their meta vision. This is honestly such an insane performance, and I really don't understand how Rin got a higher ranking at the end of the U20 game, since his berserker form was only for a few moments, while Shido kept up the insane performance the whole second half. But I digress. Now, perfect positioning is only half the answer for a striker, a high quality shooting ability is also a prerequisite, and here Shido's shooting ability is also off the charts. His shots themselves are really strong, not as strong as Baro's and Kunigami's but still got Gagamaru looking like this. But also they are very, very accurate. Not as accurate as Rin's shots, but close enough. 
However, where they get scary is when they fuse with his next weapon, which is his ability to shoot from almost any position when in range. If you thought dealing with his off the ball movements is hard, well this makes him one of the trickiest players to predict, stop and overall deal with. His ability to snatch loose balls gets the best of any pass makes him a menace of a striker. And now that we are done with his skills, let's talk about his limiting factor, which honestly is much dumber than Kunigami's, which is him getting physical. We have seen how he got a red card in the second selection and almost got eliminated, then got electrically shocked in the third selection when he attacked Ren, his freaking teammate mind you. And finally he almost threw his career due to a mild insult from Nico in the U20 game, if it wasn't for Sai saving his sorry ass. You could say he is way too unprofessional, which would really hurt him on the highest of levels. Take the NAL for example, it's the most professional feeling arc so far in Blue Lock, with very serious repercussions and stories, and his aggressive play could be the reason we see Shiryu falling back this badly. I believe the next step for him is to get rid of this amateur side to him, only then we can see the full potential of the Zest Demon. But can this half demon half dragon beat Kunigami? This matchup is probably the most important rivalry in Blue Lock. While other rivalries are mostly competition based, this one takes everything up a notch. It has history, it has stakes, and it is an ideology clash on top. As for how we would go, one look at their stats and we can see that Kunigami stomps. While Shiro is more skillful, he lacks the basic stats to face the orange man. However, as usual this is not a fight and never tells the full story. Shido beat Kunigami before, and so it is mandatory for us to take things into a real field and evaluate how each player fares on the pitch and against each other in a game. First, both Kunigami and Shido play for the same position, and so it won't be like the second selection where they were always going at each other, as both of them are pure strikers. However, we have seen how they both got back to defense few times, but it wasn't really consistent like say Isigi or Baru, they only did it when it really got interesting for them. And here their history is the perfect catalyst for this, and so we can assume they'll face off more than few times just for this fact. I want to state that Kunigami will for sure be the first offender given that Shido was the one who knocked him up, so can he really stop him? If we're talking head on, Shido's dribbling ability is laughable and in no way shape or form can he beat Kunigami head on. And so it is essential for us to look at it from the perspective of a pure striker receiving passes in the penalty box. Obviously the passer makes the difference here as Sai was practically the one that brought out the best of Shido. But we've seen multiple times how he can snatch goals from the worst of situations, so we can assume he receives normal passes. And here, I don't see Kunigami keeping up with his movements at all. With no great special awareness, Shido can throw him off very easily. And he doesn't have the speed to catch up or even react to him when he is doing his impossible shots. However, it's not all grim for Kunigami. In the U20 game, Ryu has shown us he is not completely unstoppable. Well, for starter, in the two times Ryu managed to hold Shido, he either did it by copying Aiko's aerial shutdown or Neo's physical engagement. And in both situations, Kunigami would be much much better than Ryo, as he has better aerial and physical abilities, and thus he might have a chance. But that's a big if, as he has a very weak spatial awareness compared to Ryo's. But alright, what about Shido stopping Kunigami? Honestly, when speaking head on, Kunigami will completely overpower him. It will be like a buffalo running a stampede on him, especially if he gets rid of his lone wolf mentality. Unless a defender is great as positioning like Isigi and Kaiser, it is really hard to stop Kunigami. But we know that Chido has a sense of getting behind the attacker. We have seen it in the second selection and in the U20 game. And honestly, with Kunigami trying to fight on his own, Shido has a legit chance. One last thing, Ubers were able to put Kunigami under lockdown due to two reasons. First, a player with an insane reach and better aerial maneuverability, i.e. Aryu. And second reason is the lone wolf mentality, that would again be his downfall in this matchup. Please understand, even though Shiro is a bigger threat and superior at offense, Kunigami has better chance at stopping him than the other way around. However, with a lone wolf mentality, Shido would have a much much easier time dealing with Kunigami. Much like Isigi and Nico expecting his choke point, Shido can get from behind and cut him off. And thus I believe Shido is the winner of this matchup. Now I understand that the narrative is going towards Kunigami battling and eventually beating Shido, but for this to happen, it is pretty much mandatory for him to get rid of the lone wolf mentality. 
He doesn't need to be a team player, but just play logically for the sake of the win. But until he does, this matchup's winner is definitely Shido. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed and until next time, thank you for watching.